Congratulations, Kyle and Katie. We're so excited for you to bring in your little one to this world. Um, following our couple videos, just to show you what we have going on to help you decide what you want to do for your nursery and baby stuff. Um, a little bit, he was in a snoo bassinet that's now disassembled and it's in a closet. Uh, yeah. Um, he was in that bassinet until, I want to say about six months. And he was in our room right by my bed until about, I want to say four months. Finally, at that four months, he's a pretty loud sleeper. Um, so we decided to put him in the nursery about that time. Um, and then he went into the crib about six months. So the videos you're seeing is, okay. is him now. And I swear every week something changes. So he is about nine months now. And this is what he's doing. Right? Right? Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> he already loves phones. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, congratulations. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Feel free to call me or text me. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you. So this is our nursery. <laughs> Moving into a brand new house and having a baby is, well, crazy. Um, but I do love our furniture. We got, we decided to go a little bit more high end. We went west to Elm. Um, this is his crib, which will turn into a toddler bed. The front piece comes off and a different one goes on so he can get in and out of bed. And then eventually it'll turn into a full size bed with the backside being the headboard. Um, and then it'll come out this way. So hopefully he'll have this furniture forever. Yeah, this is his crib. He's just now starting to kind of sleep with the Snuggie. Otherwise, they, you know, have nothing in, in the bed. Um, and But once we did finally come to the bed, he did love these, like, little guys that they're attached. So, they're not going to come off. Um, and this one is the sound of a heartbeat. And he has an owl that plays music. And he just absolutely loves them. He, like, kind of cuddles up next to him. And then the Wubbanub. He loves the Wubbanub. We decided to do the changing table on top of... The dresser like that. We have the Ubi trash can, which is really great. It does keep the smell in, but if you open up the top, you will get a whiff of it. So just hold your breath when you put the diapers in. Um, we just have his little laundry basket there. Um, a big thing to consider is your rocking chair. We went with this one and mostly for the original aesthetic of it, it it rocks and it glides and it reclines, which is really nice. Um, but like you see a pillow is in there is because I'm a little bit too short. So I feel like it would fit you guys great. I love it for a taller person. It also, so it has a reclining feature and I also have a phone charger hooked up there because you will spend uh, so much time in, in here when you're feeding, breastfeeding, feeding at night. See, I have a bottle. Um, along with your recliner is to have a good table. Uh, we now have the humidifier and a light on his table, but this table is so important for your uh, breast pump if you decide to do that. And I like my drawers. I was able to put like all my breast bags in here. Um, and all everything that you kind of need. I got a lot of hand-me-down clothes, so I organized them all in these bins. Um, and then I have some other organization up there. Um, those have been really nice. Where he's now getting into the, he'll be in those clothes soon, which is crazy. Um, and I love these little guys. I've used these a whole lot. I've moved them around. They just happen to be in the closet now. Um, I love these just very simple, uh, burp cloths. Um, we got like a, I, I want to say like a 20 pack of them. Our Burt's Bees towel with a hood. Uh, we have, we got a set of two and love those for bath time. He's almost growing out of them. Um, uh, 
These are have been very handy, this extra little um, cover. So especially if they have a poopy diapy and you don't wanna get, you know, have to clean this all the time, that's, that's nice to have. Um, while we're over here, this is our, this is how I've organized our diapers are in, I, I really like this container, diapers and then some, some of our necessities, we have a thermometer, um, butt paste, nose sucker, uh, this saline solution is, saline mist is uh, very important. And then lotion in a pump, highly recommend. Just is way easier when you have a wet naked baby or trying to get lotioned up. Some other organization, I found these. Uh, of course, everything almost on Amazon because we were in quarantine by this time. Um, this is actually the, the nose mist that I prefer. It's much more affordable too. You can buy them in like three or four packs. But it's the mist, it's not the drops. Uh, well, we, when we got him circumcised and you have to put on like Vaseline um, on it. And so this actually came in handy and it sits up like this so it didn't get everything messy. Hilarious. It was a gag gift, but it was awesome. Um, and then we also have like a nail uh, buffer and Asher does clips his nails, but buffing them, I'll buff them and I'm not afraid and it's easy. So there's that fold out. This came super in handy when I came to Kansas City. I was able to hang it up and have all of his toiletries and I could see them. So that was super helpful. His bathroom, depending on how you do feedings, I like to have an extra drawing rack up here. So I am now formula feeding, but even in the middle of the night when I used to have a cooler with my breast milk in it and Asher would come in and, you know, put the milk in the bottle. And then once you're done, try to rinse out your bottles as soon as possible. And then I just let them dry. Um, um, we really like our little bathtub situation, but you won't be using it. I mean, Phineas probably didn't use this until he was maybe at least two months old, a month maybe, month or two, um, because he was just so small. So he's he's still using the insert so he can sit up on his own, but just still don't trust he'll not go backwards. Um, and I love this thing that covers covers the, the nozzle there. And the little cup has been handy. I really like this counter seat. Uh, just for a little spot to put him. We were trying to feed here for now, but it's really not practical as an actual high chair. Um, but it's nice when I'm like doing stuff in the kitchen, he can just be here. Uh, he's grown into now being mostly on the floor and he loves this jumper. Um, we finally put a rug down here and moved the coffee table away. So he's just gonna play down here. Um, I love our Halo pack and play. Um, and this little toy conveniently fits in here. And we used to, he used to lay down here and we even had the changing table up here. He actually laid in the changing table until he was about a month or two, cause he was so small. And then he was able to lay down in there and play with these toys. Um, I still use it if I need to like run upstairs or need him know that he's like super safe here. Um, and it's also super easy to uh, put together and disassemble, just follow the instructions. Um, and I also like that it's, it's all breathable. And so Phineas likes to sleep on his face. So it's breathable and I can kind of see through too. Um, I showed you the swing. This is super great for up when for up to about three or four months. He like he was in here a lot. Uh, I have just this extra little booster seat um, to be with us at the table. But I am getting a actual high chair soon. All right, checking on little man. Oh dear, the dogs. All right, boo boo.